Welcome back to the Portable Podcast. You're watching for Sly Guy, Sly Guy, Sly Guy. We've got no weapons, and there might be a zombie nearby. Yeah, this game's really creepy. At least I have a flashlight. Party. Uh, but by then the GRE would have long since lost control of the virus. Dance like it's the end of a world. <laughs> well, they certainly did. The last thing you'd want to do is dance during a pandemic. Because it very well might be the end of a world. Nah. Whoa, what the hell? What the? Oh, it's a rat. Yeah, just rats. I think it's time we part ways. Why? I'm starting to worry about you. And you know what I'm saying. If you're starting to worry about someone, it means it's time to go home. <laughs> Was that supposed to be funny? Am I supposed to be laughing now, Spike? If you want to see something funny, let me, uh... Open this door. Zombie time! You've got a room full of zombies now. Whoops. There's Elvis's guitar. Yep. Got some Chardonnay and There's the more like dead party. people. Celebrate the end of the world. Well, they died on their own terms. Let's hope we get that lucky too. Hey, uh -huh. I'll see what's upstairs. You check out the garden, okay? Okay. And he sounds just like Crane. You sure you're not Crane, Aiden? Go check it out. All of them are dead. And uh, looks like they've been here for months. They're in the process of being mummified, but there's still a lot of beer here. And a lot of dead people. Whoops. We had a couple right here. And you had three guys fooling around. And the uh, guy who got wasted. <laughs> Check it out. Dearest Mary, I'm sorry I ran from you. They say that once the virus makes you turn, <coughs> you're gone forever. That can't be true. I know you're still in there, underneath all that pain and disease. I'm coming to join you. No more running. God. Hey, oh. Okay, fine, Spike. Want me to head there? <coughs> Woohoo! It's zombie time! I love a shortcut. Sit down, buddy. <coughs> Sit down and do what? A gift? A gift oh, a weapon. Nice. I've just found it. By the owner's dead body. May it be of more use to you. Here. <laughs> it's gone flat. <laughs> Look at you and your sophisticated palate. Drink. Who would have thought the end of the world could be so peaceful? Uh, oh. At least until night falls. True. Crane could have seen this. Who? Doesn't matter. Oh, Crane. Crane is there. I tracked down that guy for you. Wait, 
What, 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 what guy? guy? Quit pretending. You became a pilgrim to track that fucker down. Waltz, I found someone who knows him. Why didn't you say so earlier, what? Spike? And you're only telling me now? <laughs> when I tossed you a beer, thought you'd guess right away we were celebrating. The guy's in Villador. Supposedly he knows something about Waltz. Villador. I saw him that close, huh? Hey, I got a favor to ask you. You deliver this to Gary? It's on your way. People don't like pilgrims there, but, but they pay well. And where do people like pilgrims? Well, they're afraid of us. Everyone does their best to survive. Maybe. Boom, something needs to be transported through the hordes of infected. But suddenly, they're knocking on our doors. Mm-hmm, that's right. All right, but you owe me one. Sure, no problem, Spike. Uh, not just one. So, what about that guy? Well, I talked to him over the radio. He didn't tell me his name. Sounds like he's got something to hide. Oh, what is he hiding? See that antenna on the hill? That'll help you contact the informant. He'll be listening for you at dawn on a frequency of 140.200 megahertz. Told him he'd hear from you soon. Let's see. And what does he want in return? Didn't say. But he didn't sound like the kind of guy who does things for free. <laughs> I don't think that kind of guy exists. What? What about me? You're an old fart who likes racing me, and makes me ask around about his crazy girlfriend. Hey, hey, hey. She's not crazy. Jane's just maybe... Well, and she's always getting herself into trouble. But if you could get a load of her... <laughs> Whoa, all right. Still too early in the evening for that sort of talk. Eyes? I was gonna say eyes. Beautiful, stealing, huge. Never heard anyone get so worked up about gray eyes. Because you don't know shit about the world, let alone women. Yeah, you're probably right. I'm telling you, I'll finally find Jane. We'll set up a house. We're gonna live there. No one's gonna drive us out. And I'll stop wondering like a moron. I'll drink to that. And where will he get supplies? And that waltz. What's his deal? Is he family? No. Not at all. <laughs> then why are you looking for him? Will yeah. you tell me sometime? Yeah, one day. Well, so when my will time's I see you up. again, huh? In another two years? Maybe. Take care, man. I hope you find that waltz guy. Or whoever you're looking for. Yep. And remember, 140.200 megahertz. At dawn, the guy's waiting for you. Okay, time to go to the tower. And I have my bat. Not just any bat, but a grubby bat. Get to the radio antenna. Try going here. In here. <coughs> Got lots of fish. Oh, biters. Goodbye, infected. <laughs> 